Hello guys and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a setup for probably one of my most requested videos on this channel, which is my head swap tutorial. Now this is not the head swap tutorial, but this is steps leading up to it so I can prepare you with the proper tools so that video is going to go by without a hitch, it's going to go by as a breeze. So we're going to kind of implement these tools now so that when I make that video in the near future, you guys are all prepared. If you already know what to do, disregard this video and I hope that I can help you in the next one. But for those of you who don't know, I am going to be teaching you how to import models into Blender and I'm going to be teaching you two different methods. I'm going to be teaching you why you'd want to use each method, the use case scenario, and a little bit of Blender tips if your model isn't importing. Hopefully I can help you solve an issue here. So without further ado, let us get into it. So the two different methods that I'm going to be using here today is the Blender import system and the CATS plugin system. Now for those of you who are like, what the heck is CATS? Who is she? Why do I need her? So CATS plugin is a third party software that was created for VR chat and MMD models specifically in mind to be imported into Blender for the purpose of VR chat. Now that is super helpful and I'll show you here in a second for creators who are wanting a little bit more streamlined creation. It is the basis that a lot of creators use. Kind of more veteran users, veteran creators don't use it as much, but it is an amazing starting point for those who kind of need a little step in the process. So I will be linking a video down in the description below. If you do not have Cat's plugin, uh, installed in your computer. I'm going to be linking a little like video in the icon box and in the description below. Please go install that first. I may not be creating a video on this just for the fact that there's already an amazing video out there that explains everything thoroughly so I don't feel the need to go over that information if it's already out there for you guys and done so amazingly. So now that you have cats plugin installed, you're coming back to this video, this is going to be what you see when you open Blender. Now, there are two questions you're going to ask yourself before downloading Blender. One, is this the correct Blender version? Two, is it the most updated Blender version? Now, why are those the two questions that I'm asking? Not all avatars that you may be wanting to edit use the same Blender version. If it is using, let's say, 2.9 or in the twos, that is going to be needed for the Blender version it was created in. You are going to need to install the Blender version the avatar was created in to have the best case scenario of this working. If your avatar was made in a later version of Blender, like the 3.0s, the most recent version of Blender, the CATS plugin installation 90% of the time will not work. That is why I am teaching you two different method. The CATS like import model is for older-ish models. The Blender import is for newer models. So please keep in mind that I'm giving you two different methods because one might work and the other doesn't. But the first method I always recommend trying for my newbies is to use the CATS import model. And how are we going to do that? All right. You open Blender, you have the right version of Blender that is for your model. We know this, we've either asked the creator, but if we're making our own model, just use the newest version of Blender. So we have what we need. We're all prepared, we have cats, we have Blender, we have our FBX. If you do not know how to get your FBX, please go to my previous video, which I will also link. That is how to take an FBX out of Unity. So now that you have that and you've watched that and we're all here and we're all prepared, I've prepared you for this moment, super easy. This cube in the center, you can it's going to be highlighted itself, but you can click it and press delete on your keyboard. Remove that key cube, sorry, we don't really need it. Then on your keyboard, press the N key. Once you've pressed the N key, you are going to have this little sidebar pop up to your right hand side. Once the sidebar has popped up, you are going to search for cats. This is method number one, which is the CATS import. Super self-explanatory, it says import model here. You are going to press import model. Now before you press import model, please always remember that your FBX or whatever source you are importing for 
is in a place you will remember because you are going to have to go searching for it. And if it's not in a place you remember, it's going to be super complicated. So I'm going to import model. And for me, let's see, I'm just going to go to one of my very many face swaps I've done. And I am going to, let's see, how about we import this one right here? So I'm going to find the FBX, as you can see, it says dot FBX that I want to import. I'm going to double click that and I'm going to give Blender a second to load that FBX into my scene. Now, as you can see here, my FBX has successfully loaded into my scene. That's my model right there. And it's like all in its glory, just right here. Now that we have that imported, that's all we're going to do today. I'm not going to teach you how to do anything with it. You have the model in Blender and that's where we want to be. Now, case scenario, the model does not import, meaning at the bottom, at the bottom here, right hand side, bottom, you're going to see like this red error and it could be a numerous amount of errors. It's just not importing no matter what you do with cats. So we're going to control Z our way out of here. So there's no model, not importing, not working. Now we are going to try method number two. Method number two is importing through Blender. So at the top, you're going to press file top left hand side file you're going to see import now you see a bunch of different files here that you can import but the specific one that we are importing today is fbx you are going to press fbx again locate that exact same file you were trying to import before or a different one if you're switching it up double click and it's going to import itself into blender it's still going to import itself with all the same things that you exported it with but now it's just going to import just slightly differently and we'll get to that in a future video. Now that we've imported our models, you can feel free to play around with it in Blender, do what you need to do, but this is just kind of the basic video I'm setting you up with just so you guys are prepared for the head swap tutorial and I won't have to go over this again. So I really hope this helped and that you guys have a wonderful day.